We're in Cabo Pulmo on the Baja Peninsula of Mexico, about to check out an absolutely stunning dream home. Now obviously, the location can't be beat, but what makes this home a dream is that it's based on universal design. That means it's accessible for and inclusive of everyone. When we decided we were going to build here, our number one priority was that we wanted to make it accessible for all people. So our goal was to set out to create a house that everyone could experience and enjoy. I saw this house earlier today, and I came right up to it and didn't realize it was the house because it didn't look big enough. But now that I'm in it, it's a large house. It's actually a pretty small house, but because it's got so much outside inside, it gives you the impression that it's a much bigger house than it is. Why Baja? Why Mexico? It has a beautiful ocean. It has the mountains. And we love being so in touch with nature. I mean, we are sitting here as we look out the windows, we're looking at mountains, we're looking at the ocean, we're looking at sunshine, we're looking at the place where the whales are. I mean, we're just surrounded by it. The answer is actually quite obvious to me, but I had to ask it. Right. <laughs> What was important to you as you started thinking about remodeling this house, this site? We wanted to be sure that it was completely accessible. We have a lot of friends who use wheelchairs and have other kind of disabilities like that. But in addition, we were thinking about ourselves. So we wanted easy access with lots of groceries and boxes, and we needed a second floor because we wanted to see the water. This house is totally solar with no grid backup. So whatever power you can get from the sun is the power that runs the house. That's it? That's it, no You're grid backup. completely off the grid here. Completely. completely off the grid. Huh. Because there's no grid backup, um, the issue is how do you create accessibility on a second floor? And that's how we got the ramp um, uh, to be able to be incorporated to get anyone who used a wheelchair or had mobility issues and couldn't do stairs to use a ramp. And the house doesn't feel at all like it's been catering to making it universally accessible. Well, I think universally accessible really is the applicable word here. The universal design is a way of looking at building that can meet anybody's needs, whether you're ambulatory, not ambulatory, young, old. It's creating a, a situation where I say you can age in place. I mean, that's what it is. It's for all of us to enjoy things more and easily. The light switches have all been lowered. The plugs have all been raised. It enables um, people who use wheelchairs to be able to experience nature. Most of the time when you use a wheelchair, you can't get to the ocean. So this house and the way it's designed, when we said to the architects, there's spaces all around the house where you can go and, and take in nature and absorb it. Can we do our little walk through? Sure. I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> I like sharing our house. <laughs> <laughs> the home is built on two levels. The ground floor is completely self-contained and includes two guest bedrooms that open up onto private terraces, each with their own accessible bathrooms, as well as a laundry room, a living room, and a secondary kitchen. The second floor contains the master suite and main living spaces, including a larger kitchen, a dining area, and a massive outdoor terrace for enjoying the sweeping views of the Sea of Cortez. So a kitchen's really important to me. Yeah. I love to cook. You've got the chef's triangle going on right here. Yeah. 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 Right. And what's more important is I have a dishwasher and a microwave. Um, even though you're off the grid. Even though we're off grid. So we have enough solar system upstairs that you could possibly make the whole village run. And this is also an accessible kitchen? It's a usable kitchen. Okay. The pathways are wide enough Quite wide, yep. to fit in. And it's developed so eventually the cabinets under the sink will come out um, it, when it's my time to use a wheelchair. So they're actually modifiable as yes. you live with them. That's correct. That's fantastic. This is the nicest balcony off a bathroom I've ever seen. It's fun, <laughs> I have to tell you. And I noticed that the countertops have room underneath them right. as well. All the, all the counters are so you can, if you use a wheelchair, you can get underneath them. That's great. Our architect was able to design a shower for us that was round. You can notice that all the levers are lower mm -hmm. um, and all the shower heads are on cables so that you can reach them and, and work them that That's way. That's great. So this is our dual purpose headboard. And our bed is set up so that we get to watch the whales in the morning and the sunrise, and we get to sleep and watching the panoply of stars it's too perfect. in front of us. Why don't you come downstairs and I'll show you the rest of the house. Great. 
One of the things that is really important about this house is that we have concrete floors, which mm -hmm. make it really easy to use the wheelchair on. But here we have an important feature, which is the threshold, which makes it really simple to get over. Any kind of major level change in a home makes it virtually impossible right. for somebody to wheelchair to and use. And probably this is not something you run into very often, the zero thresholds. It's really true. I, you have to plan for them. Architects tend to think that steps are an architectural feature, so it takes a little bit of thought, forethought to plan for um, a threshold that's right. level. And of course you've got the rail up here. The rail is um, typically called a track, okay. and um, we use that to hang a lift device here, which I used to get in and out of bed. We oh. painted it gray, so unless you're really looking up at the ceiling, it kind of disappears on you. The track is really the only thing that is kind of different from a, a regular house that you would see. This is great design, you know, if you really you can build in all of these features. Can we take out the bathroom? Sure. Sure. I noticed lots of details in here that make a lot of sense. The zero threshold continues. You can move the wheelchair underneath the countertop. We've got another track. Exactly right. This bathroom is really fantastic. Walking into it, you wouldn't necessarily even understand why it works as well as it does. This toilet was clearly positioned in a way to allow 180 degree access. Correct. All the way That's right. Correct. Exactly right. One thing you can't find off the rack are these incredible mirrors that you've got everywhere. And I noticed this one goes actually quite far down. And it's also very functional because it's low enough for someone who's seated at the sink to be able to use the mirror. I, I've noticed this detail in a couple places, actually. Are these rocks from the beach? down the road? It is, and all our showers, upstairs and downstairs, are all um, rocks, stones laid in uh, concrete, so that it's textured so you don't slide. Wow, I love it. You guys did a really great job with this oh, place. Thanks.